Today we're talking about sequences and scales. Sequences and scales. And this is coming from lesson number 10 on page 43 in the Saxon Math textbook. Okay, now what happens is actually a sequence, if you look at the new concept section, it says a sequence is an ordered list of numbers called terms that follows a certain rule. Here are two different sequences. So the first type of sequence is 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, etc. The dots always mean that the, that pattern continues. And so you have another type of sequence that might be... 5, 10, 20, 40, 80, and continue that pattern, okay? Now, the difference between these two sequences are the first one is just simply an addition sequence. If you notice here, we're going to add 5 to every term. So if I say 5 plus 5 gives me 10, 10 plus 5 gives me 15, 15 plus 5 gives me 20 and 20 plus 5 gives me 25 so we know that for every other term we add 5 so the 5 is a term the 10 is a term each number in the sequence is a term now when we look at the second term the second sequence I'm sorry this is a multiplication sequence so here what we're doing is we start out with 5 we multiply that by 2 we get 10 10 times 2 equals 20 20 times 2 equals 40. 40 times 2 equals 80. Okay? And then if we take 80 times 2, we'll get the next number and so on and so forth. The next thing that we want to look at is our examples. So let's go to our examples. Let's do a different color with the examples. And with the examples, we're going to simply go over the different types of sequences okay example one says describe the following sequence as an addition sequence or a multiplication sequence state the rule of the sequence and find the next term so they give you one three nine twenty seven and then they continue the sequence now in order to get from one to three we have to multiply 1 times 3 gives us 3. 3 times 3 gives us 9. 9 times 3 gives us 27. So if we take 27 times 3, our next term in the sequence is going to be 81. Okay? So that's the first type of sequence, and that would be a multiplication sequence. A multiplication sequence and they call it a multiplication sequence simply because in order to get the very next term you have to multiply by some number so that's what a multiplication sequence is you're actually multiplying the first term to get the next term multiply the second term to get the third term and so on and so forth so that's a multiplication sequence example two And we're moving on to page 44. Example 2 says, think of a whole number. Double that number. Is this number even or odd? So if I'm going to think of a whole number, remember a whole number is a number that such as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, etc., etc., it's not a number that has a decimal with it, such as 1.2 or 1 and a half or 3 and 4 eighths, things like that. It's a whole number. So I'm going to come up with a number. And this number is, let's see, one of my favorite numbers is 7. So 7 is going to be my number, okay? So I have the number 7, and it says double that number and anytime we double a number or we double anything we multiply that quantity 
by two. So if I take seven and I double it, that means seven times two, okay? Double means multiplying by two. So if I double seven, then I'm going to get 14, okay? Now the question asked, it says, is that answer even or odd? And if we look at this 14, 14 is an even number. And if you notice in the solution, it says the answer is even. And then it says doubling any whole number, whether it's odd or even, it's going to result in an even number. Okay. doesn't matter what number you try. If we take 25, 25 is an odd number. If we take 25 and we multiply it by 2, we're going to get 50. So 25 double is going to, not 25, I'm sorry, that's going to give us 50, okay? And once again, 50 is an odd number. I'm sorry, an even number. 50 is an even number. Now, in these first two examples here, 7 and 25 are both odd numbers. But let's take an even number. Let's start out with an even number. Let's say we're going to go with 4. Well, if I take 4 and I multiply it by 2, then my answer is going to be 8. And if you notice... 8 is, once again, an even number, okay? So anytime we multiply a number by 2, we're going to get an even number, all right?